Hi everybody, this is John from USC Mondo. Welcome back and thanks for watching. If it's your first time on my channel, as always, welcome. Today I have another video for you guys. Today's video is Q&A Friday, episode number four. I have an answer for one of the questions my subscriber sent to me. Stay tuned and I'll be right back. USC Mondo. Tonika uh, ask uh, this question: What if a guy bring his wife and she ab abandon him in marriage, move out and live in another state? Does he still responsible for her for her if she abandon the marriage? Hi, Tonika, and thanks for your comment on. Oh. Uh, uh, a little disclaimer here this is not a legal advice so basically your question is like you bring your spouse here in the United States of America you, spo you sponsor that person and you bring that person here in the United States of America and that person uh, left you maybe left you for another person or um, uh, left the marriage basically so are you still gonna be financially responsible for that person well to answer that question one thing I'm going to uh, tell you guys is uh, before you sponsor somebody, you have to fill up a form called uh, IA64, which is Affidavit of Support. So once you sign that form and date it, you will become financially responsible for that person for a certain period of time. So to, to stop that financial, uh, financial obligation toward that person, uh, one of those things uh, has to happen. The first thing I'm going to talk about, uh, if the person can prove that uh, he or she has 10 years, uh, work for 10 years according to uh, Social Security Administration Act, and he or she can prove that, uh, then you, you won't be uh, financially responsible no more. The second one is the person, if the person becomes a uh, U.S. citizen, then your obligation uh, will stop. The third one I'm going to talk about, if the person left the country, <coughs> excuse me, left the United States of America for good, then your obligation, financial obligation toward that person will stop. And the fourth one, God forbid, if the person uh, dies. So those are the on uh, uh, some of the reason um, you can stop your uh, financial obligation toward the person sponsored here to the United States of America. So in general, uh, when you sign that paper, don't just think like it just uh, it's it, it's just a paper you sign it. It's uh, it's a big uh, responsibility. There is a big responsibility behind behind that signature. So before you put your pen down and sign that form, you need to think twice. It's not just uh, 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 the sponsor, but also the joint sponsor. So you both uh, are responsible, are financially responsible for, uh, for that um, uh, immigrant you bring here to the United States of uh, America. So sometimes also people get confused. Financial responsibility can be like, uh, let's say uh, uh, the person you bring here to the United States of America become a charge of a for uh, a u.s government maybe through medicare or or st uh, full stand whatever if the government want to sue somebody the government can sue you the sponsor as well not only the the immigrant you bring here united states of america but also you the sponsor and a joint sponsor so that's one of the uh, uh example i will give you um uh, as a financial uh, responsibility that's it for today's video i hope you guys love and learn something from it if you know somebody who needs to watch this video, please share with that person. If you like the video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more video like this one, all you got to do is subscribe. Once again, my name is John. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Don't forget to ask your question.